full moon above the Alps of Uri. It's the perfect hour for Willy Spiller to work. The photographer from Zurich has been taking pictures of the moon for 15 years and still hasn't grown tired of it. Even though it hasn't changed in millions of years, the moon looks different every time. It can change in just a few minutes. Now I have to hurry before it goes down. The moon alone, though, isn't enough. For his pictures, Spiller seeks the ideal interaction between moonlight and mountains. Finding this takes a lot of luck. The moon is about to go down, but Spiller doesn't stop here. A cable car takes him up the mountain where he's hoping to get another shot. I have often missed it. Five times I've gone to photograph the Eiger, Munch and Jungfrau mountains. Every time the fog closed in on the scene. Today, though, the sky is clear and there's no stopping Spiller. There's hardly a Swiss mountain he's not yet photographed. Some of his works are now on display at the Haus für Kunst, Uri, in Altdorf. He shows the mountains in an unusual light. Tourists and even many locals have never seen them this way. This mountain world appears very mystical and sublime. High above Lake Uri, the 62-year-old makes his way through the steep terrain to take one last shot. The best moment for a photograph is the magic hour. That's in the morning when the daylight starts, but the moon is still visible. It looks as if the light comes from the moon, but actually it's already dawn. It's very blue, very magical. The moon is gone, and Spiller calls it a day. But he'll be back with the next full moon.